And like millions of women, Lakeisha has been putting off an important test every woman needs to get. Breast cancer pretty much runs in my family. My great-grandmother had breast cancer. My grandmother had breast cancer. She actually passed away from it. And uh, my mother had breast cancer. And she had a mastectomy. And now she's five years in remission. With my history and knowing everything, I have never, ever had a mammogram. Partly because I'm afraid, because of the history. And my idea of having a mammogram. They squeeze your breasts, they poke them. It just sounds painful for me. I'm a healthy person. I pride myself in trying to eat well and working out. You know, I'm in my 30s. I, we don't think about it. I just procrastinate. Well, Akeisha is here along with OBGYN, Dr. Robin Phillips. Welcome to you both. <laughs> and so you're experiencing a lot of the emotions that, that many women go through, you know, the, the fear and yet we know how important it is to get properly screened. In your case, you actually agreed to get something done using a slightly different technology that is not meant to replace mammograms, but tell us about this technology, Dr. Phillips. Well, what this new uh, technology offers is infrared digital imagery. It's a no-touch breast scan. We cool the breast down with an air conditioner-like unit, and it's not unpleasant, as Lakeisha will tell you. And we're looking at the changes in the temperature of the breast. And normal vessels will clamp down, will no longer stay hot. And abnormal vessels will stay hot. So the current techniques we have, which are essential, like the mammography, looks for a physical image of, of something which you can hold and you can touch, a real cancer. It's physically is, looking for the tumor. The tumor. This is looking for a process. This is looking for a development of something that's abnormal. And remember, what tumors are, cancer, their cells gone awry, and those mm. cells need blood flow to continue to grow. So in a way, you're looking for that sign, increased blood that's flow, right. and that's what the infrared imaging is used for. And, and again, we're not trying to say this is a replacement for, for mammograms. This can but, never replace a mammogram. And that's an important takeaway. But you did have this done. I have this done. And what, what did you find? Well, the great news is Lakeisha has normal breasts. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> but again, well, I, I'm going to play devil's advocate here okay. and say that you still should get a mammogram. And so this is not a replacement. And I no. think that's the key is we're always looking for adjunctive therapies. And the question is, you know, where, where can we go with thermography and infrared imaging? We actually have the no-touch breast scan chief technology offered, Matt Campisi, here with us. And wh where do you see the future of of infrared imaging when it comes to detection of cancers, et cetera, in the future? Ideally speaking, we would like to see uh, no-touch breast scan as part of, uh, an integral part of normal breast cancer screening, uh, routine screening for all women. We know that when women have multiple tests performed, the likelihood of detecting cancer is higher and the probability of a missed cancer is actually much lower. The more people we can reach and the more people that know about these technologies, I think as we all say, early detection saves lives, and that's the goal. So true. Early detection does save lives. Lakeisha, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank Dr. You. Phillips, thank you as well.